Well, there you see him, and there you see her more importantly. Tracy Brooks coming out with Michael Shane. I'm starting to like Devin Sturgis if you got Tracy Brooks out here. Yeah, but I feel kind of sorry for Tracy. I mean, she's going to have to deal with uh, the. I mean, I hope he doesn't try to hire her. He is a PIMP, you know. <laughs> if there ever was one. Michael Shane's certainly a man who's got his eyes set on the heavyweight championship. Wasn't the first time uh, someone's done that to her. Oh, I'm sorry, what were you saying? I was a little distracted. See many people in blue suits. Right? It's him and Cedric the Entertainer. That's about it. We know it ended in controversy last time. Shane wants to do it again. Well, Chris, it was Sanjay Dutt interfering in that number one contender's two out of three falls match last time out that gave Michael Shane the number one contendership, but certainly not in decisive fashion. Prime time coming out to answer the, uh, the, the offer, the challenge, if you will. And Shane, he, I, I guess he's not happy with that decision. He, he wants to prove that he is the true number one contender. Well, Jerry Strauss, uh, I'm sorry to say, but I tend to agree with Michael Shane. That match ended in a ton of controversy. He does have a point. Devin Sturgis clearing the ring. And we're going to have this match right now. We got a referee out here. This is Shockwave TV, man. We make things happen. And just like that, we are going to find out who is the definitive number one contender. Who's going to go on to challenge Jeff Jarrett for the Cyberspace Heavyweight Championship? That is right. The winner of this matchup, the winner of this third and final fall, goes on to compete at no gimmicks needed. The Chris Candido Memorial Show to take on NWA Cyberspace Heavyweight Champion. Jeff Jarrett, the king of the mountain. And our fans showing uh, some respect to Tracy. It's her birthday. At what point is she going to get into a birthday suit? That's what I'm wondering. Let's hope it's very soon. Keep your hands on the table, Chris. We've got a number one contenders match. And here we go. Rear waist lock applied by Primetime, who as of late has been embroiled in this war with Sanjay Dutt, the Cruiser X champion. He's been on the hunt for a title shot in that division, but Primetime certainly a guy who you could see as the number one contender to the heavyweight championship as well. Absolutely. Elix Skipper can do it all, but so can Michael Shane. So, you know, right now we have probably the two top talents here in NWA. Cyberspace. I'm not slanting anyone else. But Jerry Strauss, you got to agree, these guys have been on a rise as of late. Both of them certainly have. Both of them, their 
singles career surging here in cyberspace. And who's going to get the better here? It's a clean playing field. May the best man win. And give credit to Michael Shane. I mean, this is not something he had to do. He was the number one contender. He won the match, whether by hook or by crook, so to speak. But he wanted to do it the right way. And back and forth they go. Prime time with the front face lock, using his uh, size, his height advantage. Oh, watch out. There you see, just like in our opening contest, the, the, fact, the factor of knowing one another so well really coming into play. Michael Shane knows what Elex can do with those feet, and he bails out of the ring to avoid getting his spine tapped big time. Shane re-entering, and these men probably even more so than the, in their original meeting, two out of three falls. They're going to take it very easy, be very cautious and careful of each other because now it's one fall. Now it's all on the line, and a spinning reverse roundhouse by primetime out of nowhere may have been the first big shot. And Jerry Strauss, let's not forget, Jeff Jarrett is a major player over in TNA. And the fact that the winner of this match can face him next month if they win that match next month and they become the new NWA Cyberspace Heavyweight Champion, some of that might carry over into TNA where they could get title shots down there. So this match really could have a lasting effect on their career bigger than anyone realizes right now. Uh, absolutely. Jeff Jarrett, I've said it before, I'll say it again, probably the most prominent championship performer in the last five to ten years major championships in every major worldwide company he's competed for he is now currently the heavyweight champion the nwa cyberspace heavyweight champion and beating him is akin to rising to the absolute top of this profession michael shane using the ropes right there to break the stf type maneuver almost up and over and prime time all the way to the outside. Heads up play by Shane. Keep your eyes on Tracy Brooks. Not that you would want to take him off, but... Your eyes were somewhere besides Tracy Brooks? I'm trying to call the match. Be a little professional here. I'm glad you're here. Someone's got to pick up the slack, Strauss. And Shane... Swinging around the ring, right hand. Bouncing Skipper's head off that canvas. And that's not a soft canvas. Certainly not. There's nothing soft about a wrestling ring, about ringside, those pads outside. It's very thin, very minimal, as is any sort of padding on the canvas. It's mostly just hard wood. Straight right hand. And we know the pedigree that Shane has. Of course, the heartbreak kid, a uh, family member, but prime time doesn't really care. Springboard splash to the inside. Skipper doesn't really care about much right now except capturing gold here in NWA Cyberspace. A couple months ago, his partner, his who he thought was his best friend, Fallen oh. Angel Christopher Daniels turning on him. And there you see Michael Shane with the cover. Only two. Shane exploding with that belly to belly. And he's got to get something going. He's got to find a way to follow up. As I was saying, though, he likes Skipper losing his, probably his best friend in the wrestling industry. Got his back turned on him. And right now he's out for himself. It's a whole new lease on life for prime time. No more tag teams for him for the time being. He's renewed and refocused on his own career, challenging for the Cruiser X title, challenging for the NWA Cyberspace Heavyweight Championship as well. And Michael Shane, a new lease on life for him as well. It wasn't that long ago that Shane was the Cruiser X champion. He was a political nightmare both in the ring and in the locker room here in NWA Cyberspace, causing all sorts of havoc, all sorts of unrest, actually voluntarily vacating the Cruiser X championship. He didn't voluntarily vacate it, Strauss. He threw it in the garbage can. I was trying to be nice. 
utter disrespect shown by Michael Shane in that aspect. However, Sanjay Dutt picking up the pieces there. And who's going to pick up the pieces of Prime Time, who found nothing but Matt with that leg drop? It's a whole new Shane we're seeing these days, though, Chris. He's got respect. He's got a sense of honor. And that's why he's in this match right now. That's why he wanted to defeat Elix Sk Skipper fairly. He wanted to show that he is the guy who should be challenging Jeff Jarrett for the heavyweight title. Michael Shane feels as though he deserves a heavyweight title shot. And even though he won that match, even though he did perform and capture the first fall by himself, that third fall is the one that matters. That third fall was the decisive fall, and Michael Shane doesn't feel as though he got it fair and square, and he wants to prove to everyone that he can win this fair and square, and he can go on, and he can compete for the NWA Cyberspace Heavyweight Championship. And primetime may have just ruined Tracy Brooks' birthday plans, and he may have ruined Michael Shane's shot at winning this match as well. That Rana from the top, Shane had nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, and that could be the end if Skipper can just make the cover. Did you give Tracy her birthday chop yet? No, I couldn't scrounge up the... Uh, How old is she, 99? <laughs> I mean, I'll do them right after this match. I think you're going to have to get online there, buddy. And Skipper getting something going here. Another spin kick. The martial arts ability is coming into play. Loading him up. Oh, dropping him once again. Some damage to the uh, mid region. Prime time almost slipping. I think Tracy Brooks had something to do with it. She might have caught the ropes on the other end. And dropping the leg to the back of the head. Prime time, go for the cover. And no can do, only a two count. Putting the forearm across the face. Prime time means business here tonight. Oh, and out of nowhere, Shane exploding. No! Thought that could have been it, Chris. Complaining of a slow count. I don't think it was. I think Skipper barely escaped defeat right there. There you see Michael Shane picking him back up. Whipping him off. Reversed by Skipper. Oh, his head down way too soon. Shane looking to take advantage. Counter by Skipper. He's looking for it. The play of the day was countered. And there's a run up by Shane. He's got the legs. Ah! Oh. Oh, he's loaded up! The super kick! That should do it right there. And it does not! Just like a cat, it appears as though Elex Skipper has nine lives in this matchup, avoiding several near fatal pinfall attempts. He's digging deep. He's got Shane up. Shane able to counter. Drop down by Skipper, reversal by Shane. And there's a second super kick. That's it. Michael Shane picks up the third and final fall. And in just one month, no gimmicks needed the Chris Candido Memorial Show. Michael Shane will be challenging the King of the Mountain, Jeff Jarrett, for the NWA Cyberspace Heavyweight Championship. Happy birthday to Tracy Brooks. Because, like you said, Chris, Michael Shane is on a one-way path to the biggest opportunity of his career. And a, a show of respect between Shane and Skipper. They gave each other all they had.